okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to just um, mix a beat personally, real quick. Um, this is for my sort of advanced people who sort of get it. Um, if you watched any of my other videos, you'll know where I'm at. That's why I'm not going into detail about what I do because I've done this a million times. But I got other videos explaining like how to do all this stuff. All right, so first thing I want to say is. Let me just play it for you guys, how it is now. Is use a sound shifter, which is like a pitch shifter. Use a pitch shifter, um, and basically drag down the pitch, so that way when you when you play it, you could you can do a drop like. That's just to give it like that effect that the um I want to say like DJs and stuff for using dropping the pitch. You can even use um for example you can even use the pitch shifter that's on here. And you can even you can even go. down the semitones as you automate it so when you find the part you like and you know you want to drop it you know find the part that you like. you find the part that you want to drop it like that on you find the part that you think would go good you basically just automate the drop so you click up here, automate. You go to your output, which if you don't have an output, you click output right here, create track, and it'll pop up down here. It'll show you a list of plugins. You click the sound shifter, you click the pitch. And you basically click it. It should open up like this. You should be able to draw like different automations into it, I guess. And the next thing I always do is I go to the one knob filter and I basically use this to add energy through my song. When a song first comes on, I put the the filter at zero and then work my way back up at 10. So that way it gives it this type of effect. Yeah, it gives it a lead in. From that point for it, um, I go to my bass first because I do a lot of hip hop, trap music, and rapping. So I go to my bass and um, I go to my bass right here. I load it up and basically I put a distortion on my bass. Just off top, I just automatically just do it and I play it out. <laughs> important part of the whole lesson um i want everyone to notice that if your beat is clipping it's gonna be like almost impossible for you to record on it because it's not gonna sound good period so what i always would do is i would always start off with turning everything down so like 
just like that. Um, and basically, I would just start from the beginning. that type of distortion personally on my kick just just for this just for this one song um next thing you know i'll go to the um percussions you know the little snares and stuff you hear that one this right here this clap doesn't sound bad but still i'm gonna put some reverb on it to soften it up This in particular, I'm just gonna take some channel EQ and I'm literally just gonna cut a little bit off the top because it's starting to pierce my ears and it's not sounding pleasant. This one with this sound in particular, I would go to um, it's like a here's how it sounds, it's like a it sounds all weird to me. I don't, I don't know why. 
I'm going to put a delay on it, actually a sample delay, and I'm going to put this on uh, like 1010 and just play it and see how it sounds. I'm going to just get rid of this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some off the top. Alright. So, basically, going to do like that. So that sounds actually pretty good to me. So the last thing I'm going to do is um, I'm basically going to put the tape plug in and just play it out as an overall. Hmm. So you guys might not be able to hear the difference with what that tape plug-in actually does, but it emulates the old school actual tape recording, like from way way back. But basically, you gives it, it gives it a sound that you can't really hear. I guess it's, I guess I just like it. It probably just look cool to me. I guess, but it sounds different to me. I don't know if you can tell, but it sounds different. So. First thing, when it comes to mixing, snares, hats, um, snares, hats, anything with the high frequencies, I put reverb on them to help them sit better in the mix. I put reverb on them so they don't sound so digital. I put reverb on them to make them sort of calm down within the song. Um, claps, um, I normally put a delay on the clap. Um, I normally put like echoes and stuff on claps. Um, as far as guitars and anything else I use, I normally just put distortion, um, EQs. Mainly, when I make a beat, I normally start off with volumes. It's all about having your volumes. And I'm not gonna say pretty good, but you can get a song really good and mixed if you master your volumes. Just start off with everything at zero and slowly raise it up till you get 
that sounds similar to what you want. So I tried. Let me know if it helped you. You got any comments, questions, just let me know.